Hello there. Today, welcome to the channel. Today we've come out to try and catch a sunset with this beautiful wooden lighthouse. My plans are, I'm going to get some normal sunset photos, uh, just for the detail with that, but I'm also going to be doing a long exposure tutorial, which is what this is going to be. So if you're new to long exposure and you want tips on settings and filters, I should be using a 10 stop and just a 2 stop filter, a 3 stop filter I should say um, and I'm going to wait for the sea to come right in and literally where I'm standing here I want the smooth water, the lighthouse and very minimalistic we've got this beautiful really high cloud and hopefully we should get tons of bright pink join me shortly and We'll get some shots. So tonight we are out at Burnham on Sea, Somerset. Um, I have come just to get this beautiful wooden lighthouse uh, with long exposures. Um, I'm timing it with sunset as well, simply because we have high tide literally 10 minutes before sunset. So we've got beautiful weather. We're in the middle of an heat wave. So I've come out, it's cooler here as well. It's red hot at home, and I've come here and it is quite cool uh, so this is a stunning location if you haven't been there uh, just park down in Burnham on sea just walk up the beach you can see this from the town and this is absolutely stunning thing it is if you're new to the channel and you like photography please consider subscribing um, this is the channel for you there's loads of tips and hints and little tricks on composition settings photoshop lightroom uh, Please subscribe and enjoy the channel. For everybody who has subscribed already, many thanks. Betsy is here somewhere. She is off hunting crabs, as everybody knows. She is an absolute menace. But yeah, I'm going to take a couple of shots now, just with the lighthouse. I'm going to put a couple with the sun, just touching the side of the lighthouse, just to get a couple of starbursts and stuff like this. I've got to wait probably an hour for the tide to come in now. I've had no traffic coming down at all and I've sailed there in hour and three quarters. Normally it's about two and a quarter hours down there. So no traffic, I've knocked half an hour off the time. So yep, yeah, I'll get a couple of quick shots. I'll talk you through one in a moment. I am liking, if you just turn around a bit, we are standing there in the shadow of the lighthouse and I am liking the way the shadow leads up to the lighthouse like a leading line so give me a minute i'll just set something up here and i'll talk you through the back of the camera so for this composition i am using the shadow from the bottom left hand corner leading up to the the lighthouse it's such a perfect little leading line the lighthouse looks beautiful the sky behind is beautiful i am going to take two shots i am slightly overexposed because the lighthouse is in shade now so i am one stop overexposed I'm focused on the lighthouse and I'll take that one shot now and then just to get more detail in the sky I'm now just going to come down wrong one I'm shooting um, F16 because I've, I've just shot one for the uh, sunburst so I'll just leave it at F16 shot one normal exposure which is pretty dark on the lighthouse but we have got beautiful detail in the sky looks fantastic and so the settings for this ISO 100 I am shooting f16 for this particular shot and 1 60th of a second it's beautiful let's get out the sun I'm just going to shoot another shot now for a starburst coming off the side of the lighthouse uh, the way I get these I, I tend to open up to f16 Sometimes F18 depends on how harsh the sun is or how bright the sun is. Uh, for this I think I can get away with F16. 
and I'm literally as long as the sun is touching something whether it be a mountain a tree in this case the lighthouse if the sun is touching it's just touching to the side you will get that beautiful starburst come off I'll just show the back of the camera and just explain what I'm doing so right where the little focal point is there I'll move it out of the way there the sun is just touching there so again just literally focus on the lighthouse and there we have beautiful just get down and show you starburst just coming on the side of the lighthouse there's a big cloud now just obscuring the sun but we have got a sunburst there if I take another shot and just underexpose it slightly we should get a better sunburst with a better sky dead simple again the settings for this are what I just shot the last image at ISO 100 f16 it's now come down to 100 of a second because the sun has gone beyond the cloud uh, beautiful though so while I'm waiting for the uh, the tide to come in as you can see it is creeping up now I've got my wellies on so I can get it actually get into the water um, there is a fair ripple with the wind so I think I might have to put a tent stopper on just to smooth all this out I do want that beautiful minimalist type shot with just the lighthouse um, the sky is already looking beautiful let me just show you the sky it's really I wish be cloudy it looks fantastic um, I'm just going to try and get a little feel for what I'm doing and I've just dropped the 10 stop filter on and you can literally I'm shooting in manual and you can actually just about see through the 10 stopper um, I'll just show the back of the camera what I'm doing so for those who, who are interested in the long exposure um, what I tend to do first is cover the eyepiece as you can see a little bit of tape over there just so that no light can get in through the back and just destroy the the image there's nothing worse than getting back into Lightroom or Photoshop and seeing a little bit of light's got in and destroyed the image um, I'll just brighten the image up for you as you can see there's the lighthouse and um, the tide is just starting to come in now but what I would do with this uh, without the filter on I'll take the filter off and if we bring the exposure back the way I do it is you'll get a normal exposure which it's looking a little bit dark so I probably am two stops overexposed already because the sun is right behind the lighthouse and making it's casting the lighthouse into shade so for this I'll get the settings of f8 and 125th of a second put that into the Lee filters app or there's a Nissi app you can use uh, both are really good and it will give you a setting of around 15 seconds I think it is um, 15 seconds is there you can just see through the filter at 15 seconds so what you do make sure you're focused and take that shot and in 15 seconds which is a long time when you're just waiting like this beautiful little boat just coming past now it's going to blur probably in the, in the shot and there's a the photo a little bit overexposed so I'm going to just drop another one now and one door let's come down to a tenth of, actually I'm going to come down a little bit lower because I can blend them together and come down to eight seconds um, and if need be I can blend the two images together the one that's slightly overexposed because there will be more detail in the lighthouse and then this one and you can see even though the sky is looking beautiful anyway just blurs out that a little bit more looks stunning again leading line coming up with the shadow from the bottom left hand corner looks fantastic so things to remember with lung exposure as I said I use the Lee Filters app and I've also got another app which is for Missy Filters um, they're readily available on Play Store 
Uh, just going to play store, type in Nissi ND filter or Lee ND filter um, calculator and you'll get the apps. The way to do it, you can either set it in manual or in aperture priority. I tend to use aperture priority for this. And I'll get the base settings and I'll take a shot and I'll then punch up the histogram because, because you're doing a long exposure, you've got to be careful of your shadows. If you have to open the shadows up too much, you're going to get grain in the shadows. So I tend to expose it well over to the right, almost to the point of being clipping the highlights. Uh, not quite, you don't want to clip highlights, but you're almost there. And then when you take a shot, you know you've got the, well, you're going to have the minimum amount of grain in the dark areas. Um, that's how I expose for lung exposure. Betsy's got something in her mouth. I'll just turn you around. Betsy! Hey! Bets! Come here! I think it's just a stick. It's a blessing. Um, yeah. When the water just come up a little bit farther, we're going to get some nice long glary water and sky and I'm going to wait for the colour to change in the sky as well so it should be pretty good Nice to meet Ben, just come along to again to get some photos of this beautiful lighthouse say hello Ben Hiya How you doing? Okay um, I'm going to try not to get in his way he's, uh, he's a little bit taller than me as you can see so we've got a little bit of an understanding I'm going to keep out of his way, he's going to keep out of mine so all good I'm going to give you some tips mate on lung exposure in a minute when we get going so keep watching yeah, I'll put a couple of Ben's photos on if I can get his email off him and uh, show you Ben's shots no doubt they are going to be fantastic <laughs> so keep watching we're going to get some beautiful shots just look at that sky just have a GoPro up this is going to turn beautiful orange, pink, purple it's going to be fantastic no way to get going. So first little test shot. This tide is coming in really fast. Ben, mind yourself, mate. <laughs> Ben's just got his feet wet. Um, I'll just show you the back of the camera quickly. The tide is coming in so fast. It's going to be happening really shortly. Uh, first shot. Ten stop filter on. I think it's about 15 seconds. I am going to have to run very shortly. Um, the tide is coming in really quick now. Beautiful sky, beautiful smooth water, nice reflection, I'm loving it. Can't wait for it to go orange. Just look at that for the sky. Stunning. Sunset is probably another 40 minutes away. Um, don't know if you can see it on the, on the GoPro, it is really clear out on the horizon. And that is moving north, that clear patch. So, I think we are going to get some beautiful oranges and pinks moving down towards the west a bit more so I think I'm going to finally break me duck with all these bad sunsets and the band of doom coming up on the horizon I do think tonight is going to be really nice I'm going to sit it out for a bit now um, I've just done a couple of 30 second exposures not really long enough so I think I'd like a two or three minutes exposure so I'm going to wait for the sun just to drop a bit more and uh, yeah I'm going to have me a chat with Ben and see how he's doing Ben's loving it fantastic it's beautiful I love it so for this shot I'm lining up now the sun just in the left hand rule of thirds with a lighthouse just in the left hand rule of thirds um, I'm putting the top line of the rule of thirds just on the horizon I will just drop it down a fraction in a minute um, so I just want that minimalist shot with just beautiful smooth water the lighthouse and the sunset going on to the right looks absolutely stunning it does turn it back on again I've set the uh, bulb mode up now, she's an F16, ISO 100 and this shot is going to be 40 seconds I am waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more um, just to get a couple of minutes on the exposure so there's another look at the sunset 
she's looking pretty good. Um, I'm loving the clouds. If you look south, there is just a little bit of the bit of magenta coming, and the same. If you look east, uh, west, I mean, just on the horizon. I don't know if I was going to pick it up, but the colours are just starting to turn now. The sunset looks fantastic. Say the sunset. I'll just show you the back of the camera in a minute with the shot I've just took at 40 seconds. Uh, looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. This is the 40 second exposure, just blurring the cloud out that a little bit more. You've got a beautiful smooth water. It looks it looks stunning. I'll put this on for you right now. Just look at that sun now. Absolutely beautiful. The sky is just lighting up. I am hoping we're going to get pinks up here um, when the sun drops below this cloud. So I'm going to hang it out for a little bit. It's probably just going into blue hour. And uh, yeah, but that sunset is looking absolutely stunning. I'm now up to one minute exposures. So I think just as the sun drops, I'll be able to get two minutes. A little tip with long exposure um, at sunset, because it is getting darker, always add pretty much an extra minute. If you're shooting like a minute or two minutes, add an extra 30 seconds onto this to the exposure time. If you start shooting two minutes plus, put a minute on, um, just to compensate for the dark. If you shoot at um, sunrise, because you're getting lighter, you can take off that half a minute to a minute just to balance out the exposure. Beautiful. Give it a go. Lung exposure is fantastic. You will love it. So that's it for tonight. I'll just give you a uh, last little look. There's Ben, still uh, taking photos. He's proper keen. Nice chap. He's a nice chap. He, uh, he's going to send me his email and uh, a couple of photos. I will put a couple of his photos on right now. So here they are. Have a look at. As you can see, you can't take a bad photograph at Burnham on Sea, the lighthouse here. It's absolutely beautiful, it is. Um, I'll put a link on now to Ben's Instagram. Please follow him, and uh, he's got some beautiful photos. Say hello. He, uh, lovely bloke, lovely bloke. So there's links down below to uh, in the description. To all the gear that I've used tonight, filters, everything, cameras, uh, check it out. Please subscribe. For those who have subscribed, many thanks. Me and Betsy really appreciate it. Uh, if you love the content, subscribe anyway. There's uh, videos coming on every week from all over the country. Me and Betsy get out everywhere. So I should put the photos on now. I've got to find my dog, has gone. Uh, I should put the photos on now and until next time, take it easy.